Hey friends, Sean from Draft Therapy here, and on today's review for you, who doesn't like a strong cup of coffee with their breakfast? KBS Espresso is a 12% bourbon barrel-aged stout from Founders Brewing Company in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Just to say this up front and to keep you guys in the loop, I've been really going back and forth about continuing to review Founders beers. Now, the 90% majority sale to Mahu San Miguel made me pause. Like, is this still craft beer? Is it not? Then the legal problems and the subsequent settlement have really been weighing on my decision to keep doing it. Now, I've decided to finish out this year with the rest of the Founders Barrel Age series. I want to see the conclusion of that series. And that means I'm going to be doing a CBS review and a 2019 Barrel Age roundup like I've been doing or I did last year. So you can expect to see those videos in the coming weeks. Once those videos have been posted, I'll be taking a break from reviewing Founders just for until I can decide if I still want to look, you know, look at Founders. I'll reevaluate the whole thing. Now, on to this beer at hand, the reason you're watching. This is KBS Espresso. Now you might be asking, what is KBS Espresso? Well, it's the regular KBS, which is already brewed with coffee and aged in bourbon barrels. And now I'm quoting founders when I say this, it gets some extra oomph when it's aged on espresso beans after being removed from barrels. More on that in a minute. Now I just happen to have, what do you think? A bottle of KBS 2019 here. I'm gonna be uh, comparing this 2019 KBS to KBS Espresso because I like to see how the variations compare to the original. This is the first kind of flavored version of KBS. So I just kind of want to see, I want to see how they stack up against each other. So let's get on with it. Obviously I'll stop talking. Um, first, we're going to take a look at the label. We see how the labels differ and then we'll get it into a glass. Now I said more on the espresso thing later. Fun fact, the term espresso refers to the method of making coffee, not a particular flavor. So you can make espresso from any kind of coffee bean and each kind of bean provides its own unique flavor. Now, how exactly is this aged on espresso beans when we now know that espresso is the method of making the drink, not the beans? I don't know, but we'll get into it. I'll tell you what it tastes like. I'll tell you my impression of it, and then we'll move on. So we're going to first look at the KBS espresso uh, label here, and it is basically, it's hard not to look at the regular KBS label and get comparisons, but we'll look at this one first. We have the Founders Brewing across the neck. This says Founders the Amazing Cosmickey's highly acclaimed KBS A Flavored Stout. This is KBS Espresso, ale brewed with chocolate and coffee aged in oak bourbon barrels. And it has a barrel aged series stamp on it. Not really so much embossed, but more of a matte black. It has the uh, the Founders Brewing Company and the, uh, the, the city they're from, the neck contents. And then on the back, we have the 2020 release on the top right corner. And this is December, so 2020, sure. It says KBS gets its coffee fix and a very first variant to come from our beloved bourbon barrel aged stout. Yes, KBS may already be brewed with coffee, but it gets some extra oomph when it's aged on espresso beans after being removed from the barrels. That sounds familiar, doesn't it? The result is a fresh and snappy coffee twist on our classic barrel-aged beer. Who says you can't start your day with a barrel-aged stout? And then it has bottled on. This was bottled on November 13th, 2019, 12.0% alcohol. So let's now look at the KBS label. It looks very similar. Um, basically, the only difference is the color. This one says, uh, that it, instead of where the espresso piece is on the espresso label, it says uh, that it's good for everything a flavored stout ought to be good for. And the, the espresso one doesn't say that, but that's because that's where they put the espresso. It has the, the bronze embossing, and this is the 2019 release. And on the back here, it says, what we've got here is an imperial stout brewed with massive amounts of coffee and chocolates, then cave aged in dark oak bourbon barrels for an entire year to make sure wonderful bourbon undertones come through in the finish. Makes your taste buds squeal with delight. So the first couple lines are the same, and then it switches off. This one is the one that I picked up from the Detroit Tap Room when it was open, and it was bottled on February 12, 2019. This is 12.2%. Now, I don't know where the 0.2% fell off, but it fell off somewhere. And I'm, I'm guessing that this is going to have a bit of a different taste because it's been, you know, 10 months since I got this, but I have been, this, this four pack that I have that I took this out of has been refrigerated the entire time. So I'm going to grab my glass here. I have my current KBS, the 2019 KBS glass for the espresso and the 2018 uh, KBS glass for the 2019 release for the regular version. So let's push this over to the side. We'll get the handy dandy bottle opener and we're going to pop this one, pop the top and get a whiff out of the bottle, put a nose on it. If I can set my bottle opener over to the side here. So I'm getting a bourbon aroma um, as to be expected. 
It smells more chocolate than anything. I think there is a hint of coffee in there. So let's go ahead and pour this. Very dark. It looks very kind of thick coming out of the bottle. I'm gonna start pouring a little more aggressively, get some more of that head in there. It is has a nice coffee, dark uh, khaki, like a coffee, like a dark coffee. I mean, it's a coffee colored head. Bubbles, as you can see from the overhead, are nice and compact. There's a few larger ones in there. Let's go ahead and set this to the front and we'll put it up to the light here. Very dark, very brown, as you would expect it to be. It's very thick, no, no, you know, it's opaque, not thick, but it's very opaque. The head's hanging on really nicely. It's got a better nose out of the glass here. Now I do get more of the roasted coffee aroma out of the glass than I did on just out of the neck of the bottle. It smells really good, I'm not gonna lie. It has a lot of kind of chocolate undertones. It has a lot of a coffee aroma. Obviously those espresso beans that it was that it was aged in. And then let's move on to the regular KBS. This again was from the February batch. You can still find it on shelves. I don't know what the dates are now, but this one's February. I, I actually should have checked that out. I saw one at the store today. I didn't look to see what the date was on there. I'd be really interested to see if it was still the same batch, but I doubt it is. So let's go ahead and pour this. Still the same darkness, pretty much the same. That one, the espresso was maybe a tad bit darker, had a little bit more uh, of a dark color to it coming directly out of the bottle. And as you can see, I went the same kind of, you know, aggressiveness. I attacked it the same way that I did this one. The espresso and the head is massive. It could also be the glass. The glass having kind of that graduated, um, you know, top could also have that where this one's more of like a, it's kind of like a snifter glass or a large, a large snifter. Um, so, or a goblet almost. So let's go ahead and hold this up to the light. That's very dark too. I mean, I have some pretty bright lights down here and it is the espresso version to me looks to be a little like lighter. It's a little more brown where this is more black and you can see that head is just kicking. Uh, and both have have the Founders Gold Cap, as you would expect. They both have that like bourbon, the the Barrel Age series cap. So I don't know if I'm going to include this one on the 2020, 2019 roundup or not, since it is technically 2020. Now let's put a nose on it. So this has a little bit. It's a subdued bourbon taste. And again, it's 10 months old. It has a bit of that kind of chocolatey coffee aroma, but this one. Oh yeah, the espresso for sure has much more of that roasted coffee aroma to it. No mistaking, this has tons of coffee. This one, you can kind of smell it. But I think it's really, it's really deep in there. Whereas this one, it's really up front. This one's kind of underneath the bourbon that's kind of in there, which is also probably faded, you know, over age. So let's go ahead and dive into the uh, espresso version here. has a bit of a sweet, stingy bourbon flavor up front. As you're drinking it, as you're drawing it in on your tongue, you can just tell that there's a lot of coffee that's going on in there, a lot of coffee taste. On the swallow, there's a bit of a, of a bourbon burn. It's got that kind of alcohol burn to it, a little bit of a bite. The mouthfeel is, is to the thicker end. It's not syrupy, but it's thick. And that coffee is definitely present. It's really hardcore kind of coffee, actually. It's got nice roasty, malty flavors in there. That coffee is really dark roasty. And then the bourbon, but the bourbon's like a blanket around everything. So you get the bourbon on the on the upfront when you take the sip and you get that first initial flavor. Then the bourbon kind of is, is still in there as you get more of that roasty characteristic from the coffee and from the malts and everything, you know, kind of going in there with that. And then as you swallow, you get more of that coffee that kind of pops through and then bourbon, like bourbon on the aftertaste. I'm getting this kind of earthy, maybe like uh, this kind of dryish flavor or taste on the back, on the on the back of my on the back of my mouth. got that, like I said, it's got that sweet bourbon kind of flavor in there too. So no mistaking, this is bourbon barrel aged. Um, was it bourbon barrel aged and then moved into coffee? That I can't tell you from the taste, but that's what they're telling me. And if we look at the KBS, 
We're gonna move the KBS. That head is still there. That's still sticking around. It has shrunk about uh, two thirds of its, uh, you know, it's about a third as large as it used to be, but it's still definitely there. So let's go ahead and take a sip of this one. Comparing mouthfeel, first off, the KBS Espresso, the mouthfeel feels to me a little bit thicker. It's got a little bit heavier quality to it. It's it's thick, but it's not syrupy. This, comparatively, is almost light. It's got more of like a, a light kind of medium mouthfeel, whereas this one's a little bit thick to, to heavy to medium mouthfeel. The bourbon's in there as well. It's not as pronounced as the espresso version is, but again, this is a little bit newer, so this has had, had time for it to fade, although it has been refrigerated the whole time, so it is it is a little bit different. Some of it has faded, though. I'm not picking up on so much of the coffee flavor in here. I think I remember when I initially reviewed it in March, I was getting a lot of coffee. I was getting this kind of chocolate flavor that was coming through. I don't know if I'm getting that so much now. I'm getting the coffee, though just not nearly as strong as this. It's like, you know, drinking, it's literally drinking a cup of espresso versus like gas station coffee. So it's one tastes like coffee and one kind of tastes something like coffee, but maybe not so much. I think the strong characteristic that I can give to the regular KBS, the flavor that's really coming through the most is that kind of bourbon flavor. Then again, that coffee's really subdued at this point. I'm not getting much of that kind of chocolate flavor that I was getting initially back in March, if I remember correctly. This one, like I said, the bourbon's in this, but the espresso, the bourbon is almost more amped up. So it's almost more, you know, in your face bourbon, whereas the KBS is sweet, but it's not, it's not totally overpoweringly bourbon. Not that this is either, but it, it's, the bourbon's in there, but it's kind of, it's what's giving the sweetness and you can taste that tinge of bourbon in there, but it's not really, it's not as much in your face as this espresso. Again, it could be the espresso is fresher. I'm gonna go one right after the other. Yeah, the KBS, the 2019 KBS, the one from that I have from March is, they do have very similar flavor profiles. I just think that extra bourbon you know, fresher bourbon at least, and the extra coffee that this was clearly aged in or some at least some kind of flavor was added to it. It tastes authentic coffee though. And I was just gonna make a comment when I brought it up to, and I was gonna make it as I drank it, but when I brought this up to my mouth to drink it, the coffee kind of aroma also came in with it and it's just really there. It's, it's hard to miss the coffee. If you're not a coffee fan, obviously why are you buying KBS Espresso? But on the other hand, if you're a coffee fan and you love coffee stouts or stouts that have a lot of coffee, then KBS Espresso is one that you should definitely, you know, have on your very short shopping list of beers to pick up and try. Just that nice bourbon flavor in there, the nice, cho the, the really dark chocolatey roasty notes at the very, you know, that's laying under everything, but that nice coffee flavor, the, the coffee aroma, the coffee flavor that just kind of covers everything with that nice kind of bourbon container just really you know again if you're a coffee stout person definitely this is should be on your short list now the kbs that you can probably still find on shelves from 2019 because it's limited kbs is definitely still has that coffee characteristic but if you're not looking for so much coffee uh, again why are you buying kbs espresso you should just go for kbs it's the same kind of flavor maybe a little bit more subdued with age. And you, so you get the bourbon in there, you don't get as much of it as you do with KBS Espresso, but you don't get, you get the coffee, but you don't get so much. So basically you get a little bit more of the chocolatey kind of characteristics in, in KBS, whereas KBS Espresso, that coffee kind of um, flavor is bumped up and just kind of through the roof. Um, so, you know, like I said, you could still probably pick up KBS in the shelf. KBS Espresso is probably gonna be pretty limited and hard to get. But if you like KBS, but and you like more of that coffee flavor, KBS Espresso is one to try. If you're not, a, if, if you like regular KBS and you were hoping that this would taste like bubblegum, I have bad news for you. It tastes like coffee and that it's a coffee stout. So 
you know, take your, take your pick. You'll probably be able to find these on shelves around you. So final verdict, KBS Espresso, great for the coffee stout lover. Lots of bourbon flavor, lots of coffee flavor, a little bit of that roasty characteristic that probably a lot of it comes from that earthy kind of coffee flavor. KBS, which you can find, still find in the shelves because it's limited, is more of a sweeter bourbon barrel aged stout. Um, so take your pick. If you want more of a, just the bourbon barrel aged stout, go for KBS. If you want the bourbon barrel aged stout with that huge amount of coffee, no surprises, KBS Espresso fits the bill. All right, friends, that has been Founders KBS Espresso and its regular everyday forerunner and soon to be available all year round, KBS. Have you had KBS Espresso? Have you compared it to KBS like this? Which one do you like better? What's the date on your KBS? Let me know that too. Let me know in the comments down below while you're down there. If you like beer, you might want to subscribe and click that bell because I'm here talking about beer twice a week on Tuesdays and Thursdays. It's all for free for viewers just like you, and you might miss your newest favorite if you're not subscribed. You can also leave a voicemail or a text with any questions you have on the Draft Therapy hotline at 224-DRAFT-20. So until next time, I'm Sean from Draft Therapy. Thanks for stopping by, and remember, drink craft beer, support your local breweries wherever they are, and most importantly, don't forget to treat yourself to a little Draft Therapy. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Cheers.